Hi everyone and welcome to episode 31 of Chris Latinez. It's a knitting and crochet podcast. My name is Tara and I'm coming to you from White Plains, New York. You can follow me on Instagram and Ravelry at Chris Latinez. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can find out when the newest episodes of this podcast air. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for checking us out. If you're an old viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I am sorry it's been so long since I've podcasted, but this episode's not going to be a normal um, episode. Basically what I'm doing is I'm showing all my socks that I've knit in the last year because it's been a year since I podcasted. The previous episode that I filmed today was all my whips. So if you want to see what I'm working on right now, go to see that. Also again, look on Instagram. And then the next episode is going to be all my shawls I've knitted. Because I figured let me show you guys everything that I was working on in the previous episodes so you know what the FOs look like. Because I just didn't want to leave everyone hanging. So this one's going to be all the socks. And I hope you guys enjoy it. First off is going to be my latest pattern release. The Vineyard Vine socks. All my socks are knit on US 1.5. What millimeter is it? No, US 1, 2.5 millimeter. I knit all my socks on. I'll have to keep saying it. And this is from Pumpkins and Wool. Her yarn is so soft. I just started using it. Go check her out. She's an amazing dyer. It's so... I, can't, I just don't want to stop knitting with it. That's how much I'm enjoying it because it's so smooth and soft and plump, her yarn. And the colors are gorgeous. I saw the crazy sock lady knitting on this, and I had to have this colorway. It's the Vineyard sock set. She has so many sock sets she has. And basically, it has this beautiful cable that runs down the side of it on either outside of the sock. And the other side is plain stockinette. So it was fun to knit this. Basically, it took longer for me to knit this than normal because I was enjoying it so much. I just wanted to prolong the process. And it was a mindless knit. So whenever I didn't want to think about something, I would just go and knit on this. So I took longer than I should have to knit this. And it has an eye of partridge heel to make it look a little bit like um, the vines or the trellises. I like to, I always think it looks like a trellis kind of. So the vines on the trellis. So I thought that was a nice little fit to put with it. Vineyard Vines, they just came out last week. And I just want, oh, let me show you my sock box. I ain't gonna need another sock box. I have turned into a sock knitter, people. Who knew? Quarantine has turned me into a sock knitter. But I couldn't, I used to love shawls. I still love shawls. But to work on a large project was just not happening. So I have become a sock person. I don't know what how that happened. I don't, but I'm doing it. I have so many socks. It's crazy. So I definitely gonna need another box for them. My next one is my previous one I released. It's called the Cherry Blossom Time Socks. Sorry, it takes me a while to put them back on here. It's gonna be a lot of flubbling because of that. So there, it's basically a lace pattern that goes down the front with a little cable on the side of the sock and the back of stockinette with simple slip stitch heel, which is my favorite go-to heel. So most of my socks have this in there. That fits me the best, that sock, I would say. I mean, that heel. Let me show you the other one. Okay, here we go. So, Cherry Blossom Time. And this is Cherry Blossom Colorway from the um, Cozy Knitter. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I said that or not. It's been a long day. <laughs> So put that. I'm trying to put it back very nicely so I don't have a mess and everything is perfect. We'll see how that goes by the end of the episode. <laughs> this one is one of my favorite patterns. I've worn this so much, so forgive me if it looks a little worse for wear because I've worn it so much. Again, it has the um, trellis eye of partridge heel. And then it has this really pretty, so this is the cobblestones. Oh, this is the cobblestones of the pathway. And then this is the little stones at the edge of the pathway. So that's called my garden pathway socks and has a lace cuff. And the yarn is Sweet Tea Yarns in her spring bouquet. And I would love a whole sweater in this colorway. I just love the neon green with the light pink, the dark pink and the purples. It's just beautiful. All my favorite colors are in this. So Very hard to photograph, though. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. When you get it in person, you can just die when you see it. Okay. So I take that off. So 
trying to fold them very nicely. <laughs> Next one is another design of mine. I do have some that are not my designs. <laughs> I promise. This one, I'm not sure if I showed this in my last podcast, but I love it so much. Again, this is another one that I wear constantly. It's um, Waiting for Spring Socks. I had this on a stealth striping one from the Cozy Nera, and this yarn is from Artistic Lily and Baby It's Cold Outside, which is one of my favorite songs. I had to get this. And a slip stitch heel, this normal tone cuff. But I love this lace. I want to knit this and garden pathway. I think I'm going to design um, fingerless mitts, maybe a cowl and a hat in this. I just love these patterns. I think they're beautiful. But of course, I love lace, so that's not my problem. Is well, let me show you what the other one looks like. <laughs> Sorry about the flubbing. Oh, and the um, the yarn, the contrasting colors are from Jinx Yarn before she stopped dying, in a purple and a pink mini. So I didn't think I had enough, so I decided to put the purple heel in. That's them. there. All right, this one, I wear this a lot, so I'm sorry about how it looks, but I really wanted to show you this because it is from my friend Manda, Little Baby Delights. Follow her on Instagram. She makes the cutest progress, progress keeper. Sorry. Oh, it's been a long day. Okay, this side looks better than that one. And it's called The Whole World Changes. I added my lace cuff that I love to use on this because I just thought it was so pretty. But basically, it's hard to tell with this yarn. It's from Camp Fiber Yarns, the Ice Castle colorway. But it's snowflakes go all the way around. Then she does a, they descend. So they start here, then they stop, and they go all the way in the middle. And they go all the way down. It's such a pretty pattern. I definitely want to knit this again next winter. I love snowflakes in the winter. And, um, yeah, come back here, back here. Okay, here we go. So I want to do this in like a um, tonal maybe, or just one color, because it just, you can't see the pattern with this, but they're so pretty. I love wearing them. And it's a very nice fit sock. You know, it doesn't fit, it's not too tight. It's, I guess because the lace, it makes it a little bit looser fitting. I like that. All right. Next sock is my pool party socks. They're from Desert Vista Dye Works again. And this one has a different heel in it. It has the um, German short row heel, which honestly, I don't really use that heel that much. I just wanted it to because it looked like a beach ball in there. Again, there's a little dirty because I've been wearing them constantly. These socks, sorry. But they, um, it looks like a beach ball. And then I used the spiral or the rounded heel. I'm not sure what, I mean, rounded toe. I'm not sure what someone told, I always thought they were rounded, but someone told me that it's called spiral toe. So I'm not sure what toe it is, but it looks like a beach ball. I thought it was perfect for the pool. So again, the lace is the border of the pool. And then these are the waves going in the pool. And Desert Easter Dye Works. Sorry, my umbrella the other day went on top of the roof. I'm not kidding you. It was crazy. So every time it moves, I freak out. And also it broke. It can't open up all the way. I have to get a new umbrella. Thank you, wind. <laughs> it was things. I love this umbrella. It's so pretty. I don't know what to do. But that, I'm not sure if I said the name of it. It's the Marion Hotel, I think it's called. I am so sorry. I don't even have the name of the colorway, but it's a beautiful colorway. And she, essentially, she has it in her shop. I think it is the Marion Hotel. It's her Miami collection. I know she brought it back. I was so excited when I saw that. All right, now these, they're not going to fit on my needles because believe it or not, I have knit socks for my son, Nikki. Yes, I'm not just knitting for myself. I'm knitting for someone else. He asked me for socks, and I was so happy when he did. Only problem was the first set I made was my Green Gable socks. I'm not showing them because they are atrocious looking right now. I did a DK weight yarn from Miss Babs, and I don't think they're made for socks. Or I don't know what he did to them, but after two wears, they look so bad. It's crazy. And I haven't given him these socks. I'm scared to give it to him. I'm 
sick. I knit him socks. I'm scared to give it to him because I'm afraid he's going to ruin them like he did the other ones. They were, like, I don't know what he did. They don't fit on here. His feet are obviously are small. Oh, wait, they do fit. Okay. Yay. His feet are smaller than mine, but they do fit on here. Oh my God. He's growing so fast. It's crazy how tall he is. He's only seven and he is ginormous. He's already in size eight clothing. He just turned seven. So it's crazy. I did not know. Oh, I've got to get a better picture of these. So these are the Austin socks from the Crazy Sock Lady in Knit Picks Felici yarn. And let me see what the name of this colorway was. Beyond the Wall. So it's a cute little checker type thing. I am so glad they fit on here. I was going to actually buy a smaller set of blockers. I'm not going to. Why bother? I could put it on here. And then I get another set of these maybe. So I have two at least. I don't really block my socks. I don't know if you do. I just pretty much knit them and then put them on here to take pictures with. And when I first finish knitting them, I'll hang them up and show them because I get so excited because they're so pretty. I like looking at them. All right, this is another sock I designed. I mostly knit patterns I design. I don't have a lot of time to knit. So I, I feel like I should be knitting on patterns that I'm designing. I don't know if a lot of designers do that or not, but that's what I do. This one's for the Frozen Collection. This is the Anna. It took me forever to get these hearts going the right way. This is a toe-up sock, German short heel row, I mean heel, and then my lacy cuff. And Sweet Sparrow Yarns Plum Tart is the main colorway, which is glorious. Oh my God, look how rich that is. And then I love... Bad Wolf Studio, Bad Wolf Girl Studios, Bellatrix colorway. I've knit, I've had one skein and I've used it in so many projects and I had to order a second skein because I loved it so much. It's just a beautiful, beautiful purple and it goes so well with Plum Tart and it just reminds me of Anna from Frozen. I mean, these are the perfect colorways for her. So I love knitting these. I haven't even worn them yet. I should seriously start wearing them because they're so pretty. I don't want to wear them. <laughs> they're just so pretty. I just love that. Can you see the lace? There. All right. Oh, I love the hearts. So pretty. Okay. I'm sorry. It's a lot of fumbling going on here because of fumbling. Fumbling. That's what it is. All right. <laughs> this pair. This is my breakfast in bed socks. I have worn the heck out of these socks. I love this yarn and you wouldn't think I would be that crazy about it because the speckles in it but it's so soft I want to get more of her yarn it's um who is this I always forget her name but it's so pretty I did not write it down I think it's color dye works yarn I got this at Rhinebeck and it's the sugar plum um sugar plum colorway it is so soft I can't tell you how much I loved working with this and pumpkins and wool are two new dyers to me that I definitely want to use a lot more of their yarn and I have this beautiful blue and green one inside the house I can't wait to use it I want to use it for something really special because it's really really pretty it's bothering me I'm sorry let me just look this up because it's bothering me I don't know who this is and she needs to be told because she is so good Give me one minute. There it is. Okay. Cozy Color Works. That's what it is. And her Sugar Plum Color Way. And then this one is Blue Moon Fiber Arts, the Seduction seduction base on smoke on the water colorway which I love this colorway too. And they go so well. You think this was a set. It is not. That's how well they go. But definitely um, check out Cozy Color Works. So beautiful, her yarn. That's the other one. Breakfast in bed pattern. I wear these constantly. And it, it, just the way the texture is, it was fast knit up and they fit your foot so perfectly. It's crazy. I mean, it's just, it just molds to your foot. All right, now this one is from the Wooly Wombat 
and I'm not sure if I, I was working on this in my last podcast. I'm not sure if I finished them. And it's the Invisible Heartstring Sock. This is, again, no, wait, this is on Volan Vine, actually. Yes, it's Volan Vine. I forgot what the name of the colorway was. Thaw. It was left over from one of my shawls. And then this is Sweet Sparrow Yarns in her Sugar Plum Fairy colorway, which is, I love this pink, this purple with the darker purple. I love the way this comes out. And I just love the little hearts in this one and the lace mixed together. I had a test in it this for her. As soon as I saw this pen, I fell in love with it. And then the colors I chose just, again, this is a very worn sock. I just wanted to show you. No, I don't think I'm going to show you this one. This one's a little worse for her. That is so pretty. I'll show you the top of this one. I don't want to show you the foot. <laughs> I basically wear my socks as like slippers. I don't wear them in shoes. I don't want to ruin them, but I have unfinished floors and they kind of get a little messed up because of the unfinished floors. We're almost there, people. My next one is another sock I knit for Nikki. I use a um, US Zero needle for him, two millimeter when I knit his socks. But it's the same exact stitch count, the 52, no, 56 stitches I use. This is actually has a funny story with the sock. He lost it. He never wore these. It was supposed to be for Christmas. He never wore them because he lost them. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I got so upset that he did that. I finally found it all the way underneath the couch about like three months after Christmas. I was like, okay. So I said, I'm saving them for next year. Luckily, I think I made them big enough that they won't bother. But... This is Knit Picks. Um, all right, Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingerling Kettle Dyed and Serpent. And then this is Knit Picks Stroll Hand Painted Sangria Colorway. The pattern is from Autumn Poppy Designs. It's her Candy Cane Lane Socks. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little. Can you see it? Lace little candy canes going all the way up it's so so sweet and next year I have enough yarn left over for myself for next year I'm gonna knit let me see if I can get this better yeah right there see them candy canes I think a little bit better now oh there we go the sun there we go see that these are so cute and they're so much fun to knit definitely recommend her and she has a really good podcast too so it's Autumn Poppy Designs. Go check her out. She's on Instagram also. And she has the cutest little progress keeper she makes. Okay. So that's that one. Actually, I shouldn't be putting my son's sock with my sock. Oh, it's fine. I'll move it later. This is another. I've got two more socks, people. We're getting there. <laughs> this is Bells on Your Toes socks. These are toe up that I designed. And it's all lace and they're all like little bells going up and then it has the German short heel well again I mean short row heel and the colorway is garden rose and sweet sparrow knits which I love this colorway and the peach fizz I loved it was left over from my beehive shawl which you will see in my next podcast I'm going to show you that finished FO, but I fell in love with this colorway so much. And I'm actually, well, the peach fizz is just that peach part, no green in it. I'm going to make a Bronte shawl with that. I have to order a skein to do that with it. Because I just love it. Again, Sweet Sparrow Yarns is my go-to yarn. Julie is such a sweet, sweet person, and I just love her yarn. She does all these beautiful pastels that I just can't get enough of. Every year I get her advent calendar, and I just love ordering from her. She's so sweet. Right. And my last, yes, this is my last pair. Sunday on the Porch Socks. The yarn is Cozy Knitter. And let me see. Get on in there. This is kind of a lace chevron 
type of thing. I got really upset last year because I wanted to knit the heel do -si do socks. And for some reason, I don't know if it was the yarn or it was the pattern, but when I was trying to knit them, they kept coming out so, like, um, tight on me. So I wanted to make something chevron that wouldn't be as tight. So that's how I got inspired to knit this. Plus lace. I love lace. So the colorway is the Cozy Knitter Be My Bell. And it's like a lace and it has a little chevron to it. So it's not tight because the lace, between the lace and just only one set of chevron going around makes it not as tight as heel do -si do I wear these a lot too, sorry. <laughs> okay. So that is it for my socks. If you liked this episode, please press like and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next week with my shawls. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.